Hunting is evolving, and with the change in times means a change in technology. In order to keep up with the changes, companies have to be innovative year after year. With innovations come shows and grand releases. There's only one place to turn to see what's new and what's hot in the industry, and that's SHOT Show. Taking place every January, SHOT Show is hosted in the perfect city for what's new and hot, Las Vegas, Nevada. We pack our bags and head to Vegas for a few days of hunting and shooting gear overload. Hunting is not just about the pull of the trigger or the release of an arrow. It's about the effort you put in and the adventures you experience. It's about what comes after and putting meat in the freezer. Hunting is a way of life and it's in our blood. And that's why we're Texas Game Hunters. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by Wicked Hunting Lights, the Gut Daddy Field Dressing Kit, Horn and Antler Ranch, Savage Arms, Back Road Products, Pure Outdoor Alliance Select Seed, and Burris Optics. When it comes to SHOT Show, everybody thinks about going to the show and only looking at the new and innovative products. But one of the best parts about SHOT Show is day one. Industry day at the range. Have to have your man on a good shot. Adjustable cheek piece, length of pole, dropping calf. Uh, the calf system needs no adjustment. You know, lightest, field, light, lightest target with a heavy range mag. It doesn't care. It okay. holds all the shells in the same spot. Bolt speed is relatively the same. If it isn't black nitrate, it's hard to throw. The action bars, set the front and the bolt carrier are all welded as one piece, so they stay in perfect alignment, so they rattle loose. The engineering behind this is just amazing. Uh, and I'm actually really excited about it. I've been around with a 26 prototype now for almost a year. And it runs and runs and runs. And this is a whole, this is a much more refined version of what I've played with. And what's it fascinating? This happens to be a five-car five, five, five five run shotgun, and then everything else. That's, that's about the standard of the industry. All right, awesome. Got that All right. Put him up. Got him out of Yeah, it shoots real nice, real smooth, no recoil, well, minimal recoil Correct. for a 12 gauge. That's the proper terminology. Yeah. Nicely done. I like it. And what do these retail at? $14.95 for the field gun, which is a 26 or 28 inch barrel. It's $100 more to get the shorter barrel, but hydro dip and cabo for a turkey. Uh, and then we're going to come out with a 30 inch sporting place gun. And then do any of the package comes, like the turkey, like the turkey package come with chokes or Yes, yeah, this comes with the new Renegade from Savage Arms was super smooth and easy to shoot, but this is just the start. Range day wouldn't be complete without some long range shooting, and this time on beat me to the hot seat. Just, just high. Just high. 
this time. I like how it's really, it doesn't have a kickback in my head. I'm thinking there's going to be a big kickback. It's just, it's so just was, like yours. It's not, been, it was, yeah, the 6.5 doesn't kick it's, very it's much. It's just like your 6.5, it's not going to kick. It's a small, it's the same caliber right, as your Can I try again? Yeah. <laughs> Don't don't anticipate I've been recoil. There's no for recoil this on this. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. All right. There's no kickback. It's just six five. It's the same recoil. In the morning, there's no mirage. You can really get through. I have some pictures. Is it any better? Hit. Got it. Hit. Woo! Oh, yeah, nice. Hit. I think there's one more in there. If you want to one do more. Again. Okay. What's the distance on this one? Uh, 250. 350. 350. 350. I like the scope. It's a really nice scope. Yes. That's probably my favorite scope. It's so clear. It's, it's okay. great. I'm going to go with the uh, the one that's next to the pig on the right. Okay. Oh, the person? The person. Right, you, you have to rack one up. You got to load around on. There you go. I like how it's smooth too. Yeah. How much is this set up? I... We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> set up, uh, let's see, right now we're probably like, we're probably looking at about 12. 1200? Yeah, no, 12,000. Like, like this, this action alone is about 13. Okay. Hundred. And then that scope's probably that scope's around three. Okay. Three thousand for that yeah. scope. Yeah, like that's a nice scope. Yes, I like it. Thank you. Right. Hit. I like it. Now that I've got a long range fix, it's time to head over to the high point booth and do something I've always wanted to do. It's time to break out the full auto. But once again, I was too slow to jump in. Yeah, lean, lean into it. Let me get lean my into it. <laughs> Don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. You don't have to tell me twice. There we go. pretty sweet. <laughs> so fun, That's right? pretty sweet. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by Amazine Outdoors, the Reveal by Tacticator, Fortified Cotton Seed, Expedition Archery, Prime One Camo, Outdoor Edge Knives, and Scrape Fix. Industry Day at the Range was a true kid in a candy store type of day. There was so much to test out and do, but only one day to do it all in. Now that we got to experience products in use, day two is about learning a little bit more about the new products coming out for this year. Let's head over to Wicked Lights and see what they have new for 2020. So, we going? Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Joseph Truesdale, Texas Game Hunters TV. We are back at SHOT Show 2020, and one of the first stops we are making are here at Wicked Lights. Eric, how's it going? Doing good, Joe. I finally get to yeah. meet you. Every year, what, this is the fourth year now, and every time we've gone, it's, I, I've, I've missed you. Yeah. I try to sneak out early so I don't have to handle any of the cleanup. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so we're here day one of SHOT Show, and here with Eric Adams and Wicked Lights, uh, I see a bunch of stuff that uh, my ADD is kicking in that my, my focus is going everywhere. So I'm going to try, I'm going to let you control it so I don't go everywhere. So what do we have here new for 2020? So this year we redesigned our uh, standard ScanPro headlamp. It's got a newly redesigned intensity control knob. It's more robust, more durable. Um, we redesigned the bezel to make it easier to flood and to access the LEDs on the inside to change the color. So we simplified that process. Uh, one of the other things we have transitioned to is our new uh, battery pack, uh, which is built for 21700 batteries. And I'll just pull one of those out. And you'll notice uh, each of those 21700 batteries are now 5,000 milliamps. 
And so you get about double the runtime on this newly redesigned headlamp as you did on the old style that used the 18650 battery. So on the old style that was using the 1860 batteries, I got about four hours runtime before yeah. they started to dim. I could run it longer than that, but then they would start. So this one would double, you're saying, eight hours. It's about seven and a half, eight hours, yeah. Sweet. Depending on the color you're using. And now I this is a new tripod that we are bringing to market. It's got uh, 40 millimeter diameter carbon fiber legs. So it's a little bit more robust and sturdy than our current one we have now. Which okay. Is uh, a little bit smaller. And yeah, bigger. the current recon that I have now, I love it. It's, it's, it's yeah. easy to get around, it's sturdy, yeah. and then with the Triclops head that you guys sell with it, it's actually, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice, bad. but this, this is catching my eye. So what is this? Yeah, so this is a gimbal head, which is a little bit different. It's made out of carbon fiber. Um, you still get all the same controls as a traditional ball head. So you get your pan movement, you get your elevation side to side. That's awesome. What I like about this is with the ball head, sometimes those little knobs can be hard to adjust. So you have all your tension knobs on the side here. So. This one, of course, controls your elevation. You can lock it. This one over here will control your pan. You can lock that. So you get a real nice, sturdy shooting platform if you need to lock it up. And because our guns don't weigh that much. Yeah, so. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Well, they weigh a ton. So we, whenever we're running the night vision, the thermal, and then the lights, and then sometimes I'll attach a camera to it if I'm yeah. self-filming. So yeah. the weight is a ton for us. Yeah. So having. And, and you get your standard tripod, the recon, whatever, with any of the heads, sometimes you get that wobble because yeah. you, the more weight that you add. Exactly. The more weight you But this arm. one, it looks like even with that gimbal, I'm going on here, you don't have that much of a wobble and I'm trying to put a lot of weight on it. Yeah, yeah, you bet. And the other thing that's neat about this is this gimbal platform is removable. So it'll slide all the way off if you want to. It's always great to see the new innovations from Wicked Lights, and I can't wait to get them into the field. But there's a product I've been itching to go talk about, and it's been all the rage online. Let's go take a look at the new Geek Cannon from Hype. David, I've been hearing a lot of rumors about this Geek Cannon. Can you tell me more about it? Well, we'll go into that a little bit. Okay. Um, our handgun design hasn't changed much in quite a while, so we'll, we'll, we'll jump in here and, and show this off. This place is our old stock C9 which we shut off last year, our 3D printed prototype. And that prototype, everyone thought we were ready for releasing a new gun, and we, we just weren't. That was a proof of concept that we we're doing something new. Well, fast forward to this year, and now we can show you the proof of that concept in these pre-production prototypes. So, I mean, every feature we had in the old 3D printed YC9, well, even then it was the unnamed gun, now called the YC9, thank you, internet. Um, every feature we had is now in this gun from longer uh, rear sight base, so you can drop a Picatinny rail in, which we have one when you get some B-roll on, um, to the grip safety, which gets rid of the rattle, interchangeable round or flat back strap, going with a higher capacity magazine. These are still in the works, but right now we're shooting for a 10 plus one, maybe more rounds, whereas the original guns were eight, so that's a pretty good capacity difference. Uh, still getting the ambidextrous magazine release, and then going forward from there then, obviously we've got accessory rails now, which the old guns had none, so you really couldn't mount much to anything to our guns. Oh, that's a cool feature. There. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is something I'm really excited about too, is our barrels now are going to come standard threaded, whereas everybody else is always an upcharge for an extra gun, standard on the new YC9. The big new thing I can say from that prototype that we added in is now our front sights are replaceable with Glock front sights. Mm. So all three of these models, I'm running uh, excess sights on these currently. We have our own mold as well. The two guns over there will, will rock the standard new sights. But yeah, it is a Glock compatible front sight. Very nice. So all of that packaging, we're still going to go for like around a $200 MSRP. Oh, OK. That's, that's yeah. a good price. Yeah, so Very you're still getting price. a ton of gun for the money. Still going to have our lifetime warranty. Still made in America. I mean, what, what more could you ask us for besides an AK? So when should we expect to see these on the market? Uh, we're we're, we're going to say they'll be done. They'll be out when they're done. So I can't give so, a firm date. We're hoping this, this year. year? I, I would hope so. I would <laughs> okay. hope it's earlier than that. Hopefully earlier. Yes, awesome. Yes. Because what we have with production wise, the slide work here, this is the slide. This is what it will be. Uh -huh. So the slide work is done. Framework is done. We have some internal still to do. Mm -hmm. And obviously the magazine as well. So uh -huh. I mean, it is very close. It has very come a long good. way from last year. So right. we'll be really excited to get that out to you guys once they're ready. Very good. Well, we're very excited. We can't wait to get it in our hands soon. <laughs>
Can't wait. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by Phantom Blinds, Fox Pro Game Calls, Ranger Ready Repellents, Lick'em Stick'em Attractants, and Tacticam. SHOT Show is in full swing and there are so many awesome products to look at, it's hard to decide where to go next. So An made the decision that it's time to go visit the Tacticam booth and see what innovations they are coming out with for this What's year. What's up everybody, welcome back to the 2020 SHOT Show. I'm here at the Tacticam booth with Rudy. How's it going Rudy? Hey Joe, nice to meet you. Yeah, finally. nice to yep. finally put a face to the name. Well, besides just Facebook, but That's in person right. face. That's right. Yeah, so first Which of all, I want to say thank you because uh, we appreciate the partnership. You guys are doing fantastic stuff down there, uh, you and your wife. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about a little bit about the product here. So one of the main things I think that attracted you was the film through scope yes. system. All right, so all this is, is your the, everything you love about your Tacticam. Still got the 4K, one touch operation, Wi-Fi remote capable. Now you, can, now you can mount it right to your scope with this little housing. And what that's gonna do is allow the camera to film through your scope, everything you see. Now that's without impeding your vision or your form on the rifle. Seven sizing shims allow you to put it on almost any scope in the market. Now you run yours on a so eliminator. We, we have the Burst Eliminator 3, which has a huge right. optical head mm -hmm. on it. And I was like, uh-oh. You know, I haven't been able to find anything that fits it well, but I think it's the number three. Oh, no, no, the number six. The, the biggest, almost the, the biggest almost one. Almost the biggest one right. that fits really well to it, secure, and, and what I have to do, because the Eliminator 3 has right here, and it's it's sort of opposite on how you right. zoom it here. Right. I have to slide it, this around, this whole thing to the other side, so it's out of the way of being able to focus. But Which, that's another good thing about this, is it doesn't matter if you have a low scope rings where your bolt would get in the way here, right. you can slide it to the top, you can position it any way, and all you do is move this, mm -hmm to center it and you connect to the app because you can view right. through your app on this. Yeah, and you can rotate that Tacticam anyway, so you want to make sure that the reticle is level. Um, it, the app also has a flip option, so you can flip that image if you need to. Really cool. And, uh, all right, so tell me what we have new for 2020 here. Uh, we just mentioned the fishing camera, but I think for me, most excitingly as a hunter and as a long range shooter, we got our new spotting scope camera. Um, so this is actually going to be an independent unit. It's not going to actually take um, a 5.0. So this is, it, it's all, it's just an independent unit. It's going to attach to every scope, spotting scope on the market. It's going to kind of use the FTS design, which is the, uh, uh, you know, sizing shims. Okay. All right. And then it's your same one touch operation, digital zoom, full HD. Um, and uh, it's just going to eliminate a lot of the issues of trying to pair your phone time. Man, Rudy, I'm super excited. I'm yeah. so happy for this that we're working with you guys for yeah, this year because it's been able to take a lot of our experiences to a whole new level. Like a lot of hunting shows out there on the market on, on that air are the same stuff. They're looking at the animal. You cut back to the shooter, then you cut back to the kill shot. Right. Here, it's like you guys are with us. You can see what That's I right. see through the scope. Right. You can experience what I experience. You can see when I mess up, which is never. <laughs> When I'm done editing, I don't mess That's up. Right. <laughs> but you can see, you know, if I'm not stable, if, if if I make a bad shot because I did something, it's all there. We keep it all real. So it's a learning tool. It's a sharing tool. I just, I love it all around. So I'm so happy that we're working with you guys. Yeah. My pleasure, Joe. It's Thank been, you. It's been a fun ride, and 2020 is going to be a lot of fun, brother. And we get to share her stuff, too. I'm, I'm taking it because she she's going to be on camera more this year. There's that smile. So she's going to be on camera more this year. Man, Tacticam has really stepped up their game and the new Fisheye and Spotter LR is going to make it so much easier to provide quality content for this season. But let's keep the innovations going and head over to the much anticipated stop, Burris Optics. Uh, we, well, we couldn't miss it. Yeah, we love it. Yeah. We just love it here. Oh, cool, yeah. So we got some exciting new stuff. We're gonna run you guys through all the new products we're launching this year. I think we have like 10 new lines of products this year. As always, Burris is pushing the envelope and we're excited to talk to you about our new stuff. So you know all about the Eliminator 3, Joe. You're always using it. Use it in Colorado, New Mexico. Nighttime, I mean, daytime. Night, I use it everywhere. Yeah, it uses it everywhere. So we do have an update to the Eliminator. We went from the 3 to the 4. Okay. The first thing you're gonna see, right, is obviously a little bit of a color change here, which is really cool. The biggest thing that we did is we took this big uh, circle off the side and we just made it a little bit more flush. The new Eliminator 4 actually runs off of AA batteries, so you don't have to try to find those cr 120 Okay. Extended battery life as well. Um, the first thing I thing. see is 
access to this panel yeah. is it's a little bit easier, especially with some of our nighttime stuff. Right. I have to turn that reticle down, the, the brightness yeah. of it, and sometimes I have to, where is that panel at? I yeah, like that. A little bit more flush, sleek design. Uh, another thing you'll see is uh, this is actually just a rope that so nobody, we don't lose this at the show, but this is a Bluetooth remote now. Oh, wow. So you can stick this Bluetooth remote literally wherever you want in the gun. Heck, you can even have your partner hit the button for you if you want. Instead of having to screw on yeah, pressure having, switch. Yeah, to deal with the cord, right? Okay. So no more cord. It's a Bluetooth option. If the Bluetooth battery dies, some people are worried about that. You can still use the button on the scope, right? So you still got that option. The biggest thing that we did is we've incre increased the range finding capabilities of this. So 25% increase, you can now range deer on deer heights out to 2,000 yards. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Another thing that we did is, let's say you're all the way zoomed in, right, because something's really far out there, and you have like maybe a little bit slower of a, of, a, of a BC or a slower round you're shooting, and you range, and let's say it's 900 yards, and the dot that it wants to display is out of your field of view because you're zoomed all the way in. Now if you zoom out, that dot is going to come up into your field. So you don't have to rearrange it. You don't have to rearrange it. Nice. So that's another just little thing that right over the last 10 years of having this product we've learned from. So. Awesome. Eliminator 4, a huge addition to the Burris family. And when is that going to be? So for sure we're going to be shipping around August. And so you tied this rope because you knew I was coming, right? Yeah, we, we knew you. I'm worried about you walking away with the whole thing. Right? So. I'll fit in this backpack. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So of course, and then we'll go into the next ones. So you know our binoculars, our signature HD binos, and our signature HD spot, uh, spotter. Well, we did the same thing, the signature HD rifle scopes. These are the things I'm the most excited for. There is a zero I'm stop. So once you lock down, you're not going to bump it at all, right? You yeah. also have a side adjust parallax uh, that goes, I think, all the way down to 10 yards, I believe, and then all the way out to infinity, right? So really be able to get that crisp image that you want. And it's illuminated. Right yeah. back to zero. That's awesome. So you're dialed. It's sweet. It's a good uh, setup. Yeah. Oh. So that's what I'm this getting is. My, my, every stop we go at, my list is getting bigger yeah. and my wallet's getting smaller here. <laughs> Man, SHOT Show never disappoints, and this year is no different. We could easily spend half of the season bringing you episodes from every booth here. But we are excited to get home and put these great products to use for this season. I have a feeling it's going to be a great season of Texas Game Hunters TV.